Here's a quick video on how to use the cocktail table. In the front is this two buttons. One is the star, the other one is the coin button. Here's a sound bar. There's a, a knob here to lower the volume, to make the volume higher. This is the main screen. This is the enter button. And then this is the back button to go back. So let's say I wanna go back to the main menu. It's uh, on a screensaver right now. So I hit the back button and it takes me to the main menu. Once you're on the main menu, you use the joystick to go left or right to scroll through all the systems. Say I want to go into Super NES. Then I hit the enter button, which is the first button on the lower lower level here. So I hit that to enter the system. And let's say I entered the system, but now I want to go back to the main menu. I hit the back button, and it takes me back to where the systems are. So I want to enter that system. I hit that button. And then I scroll up and down using the joystick. Let's say I want to put Aerial Fighters into my favorites. I highlight it here. You see it in red there? And then I hit this button, the, the top button, the first button. Once I hit that button, you'll see that it'll say added Aerial Fighters to the favorites. Let's say I don't want that in my favorites. I hit this button again. And it removes it from it. And then let's say I want to go into Aerial Fighters. I hit the enter button. This is the enter games. That's the back button to go back to the previous menu. So let's go into this game, Aerial Fighters. So we hit the enter button. This is a player one's view, and that's player two's view. So when you're playing head to head, and then you would press the star button, or if it was an arcade game, you would hit the coin button. Now to exit this game and get back to the main menu, you hit press these two buttons at the same time, and hold them in just for a second. And then that will bring you back to the main menu. So this is the button to enter the game, this is the back to go back to a previous menu, this is the start button, the coin button, you hit them both at the same time to exit a game. Now let's say I want to go back to the main menu again, I hit this button again, and I'm back at the main menu. Now you see there's Japanese versions of games and American versions. Always the Japanese versions have more games, you know, the systems have more games. So you'll find more games and different games than on the American versions. Now this is a Sega Genesis. I want to enter that system so I hit that button and it entered that system. Now there's 9,000 games on here. So let's say I want to find Sonic, but I don't want to scroll all the ways down. You, once you're in this menu, you hit this button. Let me lower the volume. 
you hit this button, the coin button, once you're in this system, on this screen, you hit this button, and then it will give you some options here. The jump to, we, let's say we want to go to the S's to go play Sonic. So we use the, the joystick to go left. And we want to go to the S's. Once we get to the S's, you hit enter to go into the S's. But let's say you just want to leave this screen and you don't want to hit enter to go in there. Then you hit the back button and it leaves that. It would leave that screen. So let's say I don't want to do anything on this screen. I changed my mind. Just hit the back button and that screen disappears. Now I want to go into that again, so I hit this button, I'm there, I want to go find Sonic again, go to the S's, then hit enter, which is this button, and then we just scroll down, now we're in the S's, and there's Sonic and Knuckles and all the Sonic games for the Sega Genesis route. I want to leave this menu and go back to the main menu. You hit the back button again. Now I'm here. There's 9,000 games, so I want to find all the versions of like Sonic for every system, every game. So we go to the all games, which is this screen here. You hit this enter button will take us in. Now this is all 9,000 games. So let's say I want to find, you know, how many Sonics are not only in the Genesis games, but in every, every system on here, the Master System, whatever. So I want to see all the Sonics, the arcade version, if there's an arcade version, all the systems, you know. So then we hit this button. The options came up again. So let's go do Miss Pac-Man. Now I'm gonna go on the N because Miss Pac-Man is closer to N than to M, you know, to M A. So we hit this button. Now we're in the N, so we scroll up. And these are all the versions of Miss Pac-Man. There's an arcade version. There's an Atari version, a Game Boy version, a Master System version, and all these other Miss Pac-Man versions. Not only the arcade version, but um, all these systems. And so you could do that for any game you're looking for. So let's hit uh, Miss Pac-Man Arcade. Let's say we want to add that to our favorites. So we hit this button, and it would add to its favorites. We want to keep that in our favorites because we love that game. And then we're going to hit the enter button to play it. And then it will load. Let's say we want to play two players. We have to come on this side. And we're going to have to add coins on this side. And hit two players on this side. And then the player one would be on this side. Let's say you play your game on player one. And then it will flip for player two. And then player two would play on their side. And that's the basic instructions. Thank you.